Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is your DoorDash Revolution. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave comments down below, like and share this video. We like to deal with today's topic changing our mindsets. We did an episode last week on changing strategies. Before you can even change your strategy, you must change your mindset. You must change the way you view things, your perspective, your opinions, your beliefs and your thoughts. And be able to change your strategies. You have to change your mindset. And people in America, even though we adapt to change, we don't like change. Having a transition in life can make us a better person. It can make you or it can break you. Our quest in this journey in the gig economy for trying to make it profitable in order to have financial gain for success so we can be able to attain money as a delivery driver. And I took a week off, week and a half off so I could unwind, rewind, relax and rethink those decisions that I was making in this business in 2022 looking over our journey to the end 2021 how can we be more successful how can we be more profitable how can we overcome slower times and slower markets in 2022. How can we adapt to the changes of these third party apps? And what do you mean by third party apps? We talking about DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats. When they change their policies, they change their rules, they change their regulations, which has strifled many delivery drivers to where we started struggling on making ends meet. Before we could change our strategies, ladies and gentlemen, we had to change our mindset. We had to remove ourselves from the toxic environment. The toxic behavior, the toxic attitude, the toxic personalities of people in our society. Delivery drivers that were toxic. Restaurant employees that was toxic. Customers that are toxic. We had to get rid of uh, well, I should say, remove the ourselves from the waste, then get rid of the waste, and then restart all over. I had to scrap my playbook, ladies and gentlemen, on what was working and what was not working for me. On our channel banner, on my channel banner, we talks about. Making better decisions for better opportunities. And by having better opportunities to make profitable income or maximize our income. Well, we've been messing with new strategies for the last three weeks. We've been using the Dash Along features, ladies and gentlemen, and I would like for those that's been using the Dash Along features to leave comments down below. 
Is it working for you or is it not working for you? I would like to hear them comments. I would like to show my earnings so far at, at the closing of the week. And that's on DoorDash. I would like to be able to show you what the close another week look like. For Grubhub. And we're not we're not finished. We are now in the piece of program. I already had a piece of bag, so I didn't order any, but I'm gonna order a DoorDash piece of bag anyway. Now with the new strategies that I have implemented in my day-to-day -day activities on trying to earn more income, I have maximized more right now. Now, you heard that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our thing is that we had to go in different areas and find hot spots. We had to go in different areas and find s substations that could that would create hot spots. We had to is on the right. We had to get out of our comfort zone and discover other zones and other opportunities to maximize our earnings. And as you've seen the numbers there, we are beginning to be more profitable. We had to change our mindset from the three, five, seven formula and principles into okay. How much money I want to make per hour? How much money I want to make per order? How much money I want to make per mile ratio? Now with Grubhub, I'm very extremely picky. I'm not accepting anything under two dollars a mile dealing with Grubhub because Grubhub spoiled me like shit. We was seeing numbers at thirty-nine dollars an order, twenty-nine dollars an order, nineteen ninety-nine per order. Our trash offers for Grubhub was nine dollars, ten dollars, eleven dollars, thirteen dollars. Those was trash orders for Grubhub. So I'm extremely picky about the restaurants I go to for Grubhub. I have found out which ones I can go in and it's already ready. To where I can maximize my earnings, I had to change my blacklist. I had to change restaurants that I was going to that wasn't profitable for me. And while I'm slightly waiting on this order to pick up, I'm getting ready to go get it and come right back here as many times as it takes. There are other restaurants in this area. The tips are better. They tip more here. Why would I be in the area where they stop tipping? When I can go to an area that they are tipping and they are with the tipping culture and that's what they do in this market, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, we gotta rethink what we are doing. We gotta find a solution to problems that we couldn't figure out before, you see, and make better decisions for better opportunities to where we can maximize our earnings. And that's what I'm going to do. Too many dashes are worrying about other dashes' deliveries. How big is their orders? 
trying to estimate how much money they make. You're wasting time. While you're doing that, you need to be concentrating on your money, how to maximize your earnings, and do you. Attitudes between dashers. Attitudes between dashers and restaurant employees. Attitudes between dashers and customers. Now, we did an episode about the rude restaurant staff. The experience that I countered at Chick-fil-A, the experience I countered, encountered with Chili's. Now other content creators have spoken. And has stand up for our driver community. Bravo for you, Kim Side Money Plan. Because you did at least three episodes about that. Congratulations, we need other content creators to talk about this thing. And DoorDash Dad, formerly known as DoorDash Dad, he had an incident to where he got kicked out the restaurant. Then I had another experience yesterday. I wasn't able to record the footage, but I went into a pizza place. I took a picture of my pizza bag inside the restaurant, ladies and gentlemen. Explained to one of the managers that this is the pizza program and this is what they require out of the pizza program. Then the other lady that I didn't know was watching me, when I took my bag outside, laid it on the outside table, she went in the area that was reserved. And I did record her recording me. She took the phone, bam. I said, this lady recording me. I'm changing pizza bags. This is one of them right here. It's insulated, but it's not as insulated as my grub hub piece of bag. So I change these bags, ladies and gentlemen, so I can keep the people food hot. So I also got a bike squad bag. That's a piece of bag too, but it's all in one bag that you can put food in, and you can put piece of bags in, and then you can put, you know, stuff on the side like cups, napkins, forks. All of that stuff. So I noticed she recorded. My wife said, what is the fool doing? I, I had to grab her because my wife was finna get ready to clown on. I said, no, that's unnecessary. You don't have to. So I turned around and I let her know, look, I'm recording you as well. And I pulled up and stopped and I went back in there. Overheard her talking about it. I said, it's nice to be able to use these, these uh, technology things in society, isn't it? But sometimes we abuse it and overuse it. Later, I knew you was recording me, but you was also recorded too. I was recording you of recording me. But we will be back and sit down in the establishment. We're going to eat and enjoy our day. And that's what I did. And I had to end this story right now, ladies and gentlemen, because now at the close of this episode, I want you to share the knowledge. Sometimes you got to remove yourself from toxic environment to hold your composure to where you don't react negative to negativity. Remove yourself from the toxic waste and then dispose of the waste. Have a great day. Peace. And I'll see you in the next episode.